Welcome everybody to Nitro, where tonight Triple H has given one of his new best buddies, DDP, he's given him a favour because Diamond Dallas Page is going to have a chance to earn himself a WCW title shot. He just has to beat the champion, Steve Austin. Well, first things first, we're going to have ourselves a little rematch because Harlem Heat with Teddy Long. Wait, let's listen, let's listen. Come on, say it again. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I was hoping that wasn't a glitch. Long, 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 Teddy Long, people. Their new manager did not get off to a great start last week. Teddy Long has, has shouted at them, telling them what is wrong with you. Telling Booker T, you are a former WCW champion. You have got to sort this out. Well, Too Cool got the better of them last week. But Harlem Heat are going to try and make up for it this week. And well... Can Harlem Heat fix it this week? Or does the dip continue? And well, Booker T. No time wasted on that one there. And brutal! Grinch is locked in, man. No time wasted, man. Everyone's favourite move. Oh, Harlem Heat, man. It has been a... a the storyline... Whatever the, I can't even remember what I was originally planning to do with Harlem Heat, but I didn't expect them to be so jobbed out. <laughs> See, this is it. Don't get cocky, man. You're taunting. This is it. Booker. It was Booker T last week who took himself out of the match and he's doing it again. Teddy Long, tell him stop with the gloating. Got to be Mina. As Booker. It's Harlem Heat, man. Need to get themselves a victory. As well, Scotty too hot though. Catching Booker T here. Oh, he's right on him. Teddy Law, man, he screamed at me, told him you're a former WCW champion, Booker T. You've done it all. What is happening? Stevie Ray trying to kind of put the blame on Booker, but it's as much Stevie's fault as well, although it was Booker T's fault last week, let's be honest. As Booker T, big shot there. Going for everyone. Second favourite, right on the top rope. And right into the cover here, Booker T. And that was something. Big main event tonight then, Diamond Dallas Page going to get a one-on-one -on -one match with the WCW champion. Can he defeat him? But imagine uh, Goldberg, when he gets to the arena, he'll not be too happy. These videos have been a bit spaced out over the last week. I've just been busy <laughs> trying to do stuff and lazy at the same time. <laughs> I've been playing too much Call of Duty. That's something I never thought I'd say. Been doing a lot of live streaming on Twitch as well. If people want to check that out as well. Uh, generally, when these videos go up, I'm actually doing it at the same time. <laughs> um, it's exactly the same on Twitch. I believe Revbox Gaming. I think the only difference is the O in box, I think, is a zero. Instead of uh, the letter O. Um, but if anyone's on Twitch, please be sure to check that out. Something I keep meaning to do and I just always forget. Actually, I downloaded the original Star Wars Battlefront 2. Had a wee shot of it. It's actually pretty good. I might do some streaming with that. It's actually pretty, still pretty enjoyable for a game that's as old as it is. As uh, Grandmaster Sexy. And right on to Booker T. Nope. 
Sound took a little bump there. Always gives me the fear. As Grandmaster off the ropes back. And it was Grandmaster that got the pin on Booker T after he guillotined himself on the ropes last week. Went for a drop kick and guillotined himself. An absolute idiot. But technically, Slamboree was last night. It's a very poor main event. It was, it was a fun pay-per-view, but man, Austin Goldberg just wasn't happening. As there's the hot tag. Booker T and Booker T. But Scotty Too Hot, he right back up on his feet. Sends him into the corner. Drop kick of his own. And Scotty Too Hot, he now scoops him up. Back suplex. And the kip up. I thought he was going moonwalk there. As Booker takes Scotty down. And oh, he'd nearly done it again. It's Scotty too hot. right back onto him. Too cool with a good victory last week. I was going to say a good victory over a, a big team like Harlem Heat, but uh, in all realism, is oh, look at Scotty here, man. Stevie Ray's only just getting up to his feet. It's Scotty too hot. He's into the cover on Booker T. Oh, man. Well, technically that move's called the worm, but we don't get the worm out of it. It's just a chop. As up, Booker T. Well, he managed to get the shoulder up anyway. Actually, I thought he was going to get caught out there. I honestly don't know what to do next with Harlem Heat if they don't get some wins. I mean, come on, guys. What has happened? Booker T's been, been like the man the last couple of years, and it's... What has happened to him? Is he's top rope, and the Harlem hangover. It's the Houston hangover when he's a singles competitor, Harlem when he's part of the team. And I think we're going to get a little heat bomb here. There's Booker T, and that could do it. But Booker's too stupid to... He's fell to one knee! And he kicked out of it! My God! And look at Stevie Ray! And Rage here right back into the cover again! Grandmaster here and oh wait a minute Pretty sure this is what took down Booker T last week The sexy bomb <laughs> I don't know Booker T was taking his time there It was nearly Booker T's fault again Booker T might have to team with Taka <laughs> And oh and Stevie Ray Just booted those goggles right into his skull. I think they're indented on his forehead now. I know, he might have been thinking heat bomb. Grandmaster switches it out. Then to the corner. And again, Stevie Ray, nobody home. His Grandmaster with the Bulldog. Scotty too hot. Wait a minute, Scotty. You thought you get what you're doing. No, oh, throws him up. But look at Grandmaster. <laughs> and he caught Bugatti as soon as he came in. Look at these shots, man. Scotty Too Hot, he's going to town. On the outside now. And, oh... He slapped him in both ears and he bounced off the announcer's table. As in, wait a minute, Stevie Ray. And, oh, what a suplex there. Five. 
As into the ring. And Stevie Ray. He's been getting very agitated with all of this. And oh man. <laughs> a huge boot there. As into a cover here on Scotty Rikishi and Grandmaster shouting at Scotty. Who gets the shoulder up again. No wait, Scotty though not got getting caught here. And Scotty too hotty here. He tried to lift Stevie Ray here, but Stevie Ray didn't get the right grip on him there. As he snaps him with that suplex and oh, I might be looking for that 110th Street Slam here. And Stevie Ray, no, 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 he got caught. DDT by Scotty too hotty. Oh man, opening contest, <laughs> strikes again, is up, here he goes, and he's moonwalking. Scotty here got him wrapped up. And Harlem Heat here. And Scotty gets blasted into the corner. Hard to say who's the better team here, it really is because it's too cool have really held their own again. Harlem Heat have, uh, I'd probably say two kills looked a lot better. Man, too cool, he's fired up, Scotty man, dancing while he's wrestling. As Booker, man is a former WWE champion. This is definitely some Vince McMahon booking that's been happening to Booker T is all oh, 110th Street Slam. Not going for a pin though. A couple of stomps on the kneecap. There's old Scotty. Out! The middle TDT! Booker T. Come on, Harlem. Get your heat back. As in, oh, oh man, standing drop kick. As into the corner, Booker T holding him. Stevie Ray just battering him in the corner. Oh, looks like he went for another boot there. Scotty ducked. Big Irish whip off the ropes comes back elbow. And more double team by Harlem Heat here. It's looking more like them. Constant double team. Drops that elbow. And oh, and the knee across the back of the neck might not be the best thing to do right now with the news coming out of America. Uh, <laughs> don't know what that copper was thinking. If you haven't seen the news from, is it Minnesota, I think? Uh, that police officer that killed a, a black man with his knee across the back. I worked in security for a while. Believe me, I've had my knee on people. Never once would I have put my knee across the back of someone's neck. That is utter stupidity to actually do that in the first place. You only do that with an intention to harm. If you're restraining, you do not put your knee like that across the back of someone's neck. You put it on the back just below the neck or you put it on the lower spine. 
I've done it myself plenty of times. I've never done it to the person's neck because you're stupid if you do. He had his hands in his pocket as well. What an idiot. As uh, 110th Street Slam, Booker T. Go for the pin, man. What are you doing, Book? Guys, are we going for another heat bomb here? Yes, we are. This would definitely do it. This would do it, but only if Book has the common sense to run across the ring, which he's not doing. He's not doing. He kicked out! My God, that move has... Stevie again, right into another pin. The rage of Stevie Ray. Both members of Two Cool are busted open. Oh, Stevie now. Louis looking for that. 1-1-0 one, one, oh, slam himself here, but a big version of it. Into the cover again. Grandma, no book of tea, though. Oh, my God. Harlem Heat. And, oh, miscommunication here. As Stevie Ray just gets slapped over to the ropes, but Grandmaster gets DDT'd. Oh my god, Harlem Heat, come on, get your heat back. As he picks him up here, Scotty though. And Scotty too haughty. God, really? Oh, I can't, I can't even help them. Know how your perks like resiliency and adrenaline and all that. I gave Too Cool nothing. And I gave both members of Harlem Heat resiliency, thinking it would help them. And they still get beat. <laughs> I literally actually tried to help them win this match and they still lost. Oh, Harlem Heat, man. Harlem has no heat. Oh, I actually don't know how to book them anymore. <laughs> and Too Cool. Just imagine they're doing their dancing. Oh, Too Cool got a bit of a beating in this one. Oh, my God. Well, what do we do with Harlem Heat? Tell me. I don't know. I literally don't know what to do with them. I have absolutely no idea. Unbelievable, oh good god, look at Grandmaster, they goggles, that boot really went right through his, they booted their goggles right into his head. Oh man, I don't know what to do with them, you know, I'm out, I'm out of ideas, I, I don't know how to book Harlem Heat. Too cool, well literally, pretty much bought me the wrong tag team at the moment, who have just got back to back wins over Harlem Heat, so too cool, we might be seeing a bit more of them pushing up the tag team division. As for Harlem Heat, they are they are rock bottom, to be fair. They were rock bottom when Kai and Tai beat them. Never mind too cool. I don't know. I don't know what to do with them. Harlem has no heat. No, oh, wait a minute. Conan's in the face of Scott Steiner. And oh, here we go again with these two. And Steiner and Conan have erupted again. When is this going to end? Is no oh, Conan and no oh. and Conan and Scott Steiner. It's just oh man. Triple H, you've got to do something about this. These guys are meant to both be WCW. They might be on the same page. And oh! <laughs> and Conan. And Conan. That elbow drop there is Conan and oh, wait a minute. And Conan on the floor. And Conan 
Well, at least this week he gets the better of Scott Steiner because it's been Scott Steiner getting the better of him. Man, these two just cannot, cannot stop brawling with each other. Both WCW, they might be in the same team. Well, man, let's move on here. News from the World Wrestling Federation is Vince McMahon. They've got TV set up in the back, and Vince McMahon watching Conan and Steiner, and he said, you know what? I'm going to help WCW with this. Judgment Day in two weeks. Conan and Scott Steiner can go one-on-one -on -one for the World Wrestling Federation Intercontinental Championship. Vince McMahon going to give Scott Steiner his rematch. Vince McMahon not even putting a WWF guy in that match. He is more than happy to just let the two of them continue to infight. And speaking of infighting, why did this man help Rob Van Dam retain the Cruiserweight and Light Heavyweight Championships at Slambury? Why did he drop Billy Kidman and help Rob Van Dam? Well, apparently we're not going to get any answers, but what we are going to get is a match, a match that was demanded by Billy Kidman, who was the man that he super kicked in the face. Billy Kidman looked to actually have the match won. He connected with a shooting star press. He looked like he had it. And well, what do we say? As, no, wait a minute. And it looks like... And... Lance Storm can't seem to do. Lance Storm's just standing there. As, no, no, wait a minute, there he goes! <laughs> and Billy Kidman over the top rope eventually. And he is not happy with Lance Storm. And well, as I said, the infighting continues with WCW. The referee saying, get in the ring or I'll call the match. As he gets him on his feet, Lance Storm, the young Billy Kidman is taking it too. Billy Kidman's not happy and he's got every right to not be happy. As he is taking it to him right now. As, oh, Lance Storm. And Lance Storm. And oh, big tackle there. And Lance Storm. On to Kidman now, as, and, oh! And, oh wait, Lance Storm. We're looking for something we've not seen in a little while. Lance Storm comes in, missile drop kick connects. Well, Lance Storm, man, he took the, the jaw off Billy Kidman last night. And, well, apparently... Stephanie wants to know as well, but Lance Storm was not talking when he showed up to the arena tonight. So you got put in a match. Billy Kidman can have him one on one. This infighting man, and don't get me wrong, it's the same with the World Wrestling Federation. The infighting in both sides is getting worse and worse as time goes on. Is Lance Storm right now? And Lance Storm. Top rope. And look at Lance Storm go. Is Lance Storm now under hook here? Lance Storm, man, he is all over Billy Kidman right now. And Billy Kidman. He's back up to his feet here. Nope. You know, Kidman. And oh, into the ropes. Is and Kidman. And Lance Storm bailing to the outside. And oh, wait a minute, Billy Kidman. Kidman. Gonna fly through the ropes! As he gets him back into the ring here and... What's going on? 
What's going on? I don't recognize. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? 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 In the ring. That's just incredible. Just incredible. And oh! And he tombstoned them. He tombstoned them. And the referee. Well, he's no idea what just happened. It's Latin Storm. Both men back to their feet here. And... No! Oh, come on! And Latin Storm hooks the leg of Billy Kidman off of the super kick. Just incredible. And Latin Storm have got history together, man. They are former running buddies. They were tag team champions in ECW together. They are former friends. Just incredible, just dropped Kidman on his head and Landstorm took advantage just like last night. The super kick connected. Here is your winner. Wait a minute here. And with the referee getting out of the way, is what the hell is Landstorm doing? And Landstorm. And oh, wait a minute. And this variation of the Calgary Crab. And he's got Kidman locked up in the centre of the ring as he's tapping like crazy. You can just imagine Tory Wilson at the corner screaming her head off. And Lance Storm, man, what is going on with Lance Storm? Just incredible. Just helped Lance Storm. What the hell is going on with him? And well, here comes the Stinger who made the Undertaker tap last night. Uh, one of the, the good matches of the night anyway. And well, Ric Flair's not here tonight, not after the attack he took last week off the Undertaker. That last ride backstage on all those chairs and concrete floor. Ric Flair, a yeah, history on his back. As well, the Stinger out here. He grabs a mic, he's talking, he's getting ready to start talking to the fans. We are going to go to Judgment Day, we are going to go after Undertaker and Kane. And I think, uh, well, Sting started talking, he got all of a few words out. And here comes the World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions. The Brothers of Destruction, Undertaker and Kane. They took those belts at Backlash. They will defend them against Sting and Flair at Judgment Day. As Undertaker and Kane are making their way to the ring right now. And oh, the Stinger ain't backing down. He just would. You want him? Come get him. He ain't backing down. As Undertaker comes into the ring and oh! And look at him! And he's trying to go after them and Sting! And the, the Stinger is going after Undertaker and Kane here! And oh! God damn man! And the Stinger right now is attacking Undertaker and Kane! He is going for it! Stinger Splash! Stinger Splash! And God! And oh, Undertaker hits back as Undertaker big DDT! And Undertaker in the corner now. And Undertaker. And this Stinger, the numbers were just too much for him. They were just too much for him. As he gives them over to Kane now. And Kane with a huge shot. Man, this WWF versus WCW Undertaker man not happy. He's been made to tap out twice. Ric Flair got him. Sting got him. And look at these shots, man. Look at these shots by the Undertaker. And Flair's nowhere to be seen. And oh god, what a strike. Uh, 
There's Kane. And oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Double. Choke slam on the ball right on the knees, man. And that's a double choke slam. My God. And oh, wait a minute. Undertaker. And a choke slam by the Undertaker. Jeez, man. This is too much here. This is too much. It's Kane now. Jesus. And man, Sting's getting laid out here. Absolutely laid out here. Last ride. Sting tried to fight back. He tried, man, but good God, Undertaker and Kane. Look at this, man. He fought back, man. He landed those stinger splashes, but double choke slam, then single choke slams. And then a last ride. And there's a message for Sting. He said that they were coming for them at Judgment Day. Well, Undertaker and Kane will be waiting at Judgment Day. And Undertaker and Kane just laid waste to Sting. And Ric Flair, you better believe, is watching at home. He will be back next week. He will be here. And now, well, what is next for these guys, man? Next week will be a go-home show for Judgment Day. No time wasted. It is going to be a war at Judgment Day. Well, I meant to say earlier, and I completely forgot, a challenge was made backstage. Cut Angle said to Owen, I said I was coming for that title, and whoever had it was facing me. As Shawn sure Michaels meant to have something else. Oh, I know what I've done. Anyway, Cut Angle demanded a shot, and it looks like Shawn Michaels is making his way to ringside. Shawn Michaels lost that championship in a triple threat match against Owen and his brother Brett. Well, Owen Hart, <laughs> Owen and Brett are trying to show that they're on the same page, but uh, I don't think they are. I think it is safe to say they are not on the same side. As Owen, the new United States champion, now a two-time WCW United States champion. And well, Owen Hart took the challenge. He is going to challenge... Right now, he's going to defend the United States Championship against Cut Angle right here, right now. He does have victories over Cut Angle, although they were dubious, shall we say. There's Brett and Owen trying to show they're on the same page. They did come to a fist fight last week. As well, not just that, Goldberg was asked. He went right up to Triple H. What's next for me? And Goldberg was told, hey, you've got a match tonight. Don't you worry. You've got, you're going to go one-on-one -on -one with a big show. That's not what Goldberg wanted to hear because he wants to be in the title picture. As well, Cut Angle. Never been the United States champion. He's looking to win that championship right here, right now. He did win the US title during the invasion angle. As Owen Hart. The United States Championship on the line tonight. The challenge was made. Owen took it. Now well, Owen and Brett can pretend to be friends all they want. As here we go. And cut angle. Taken to the corner by Owen. And Owen, man, with a smack. 
Right off his own head there as well. Catches Cutlow, sends him over the ropes. Brings him right back in the hard way. As Owen. And oh, caught with that shot there. And man, look at Kurt go here, man, showing that technique. Kurt Angle warned Shawn Michaels last week. Whoever holds that US title, he's coming for them. Don't know why he seems to be so obsessed with getting that US title. I think it's got more to do with the loss to Bret Hart at WrestleMania. Kurt Angle, man, is a, a multi-time WWF champion. I don't know why he would be so set on getting that US title. But he seems to have his eyes on it. He seems to have his mind set on it. As well, Brett up in the apron, and yeah, look at Kurt straight away, distracted by Brett. His mind is on Brett. That mania loss just seems to haunt him. As Kurt goes behind. Kurt gets him with the uppercut, follows it up with a drop kick. So we have got Goldberg versus Big Show still to come. And of course, Diamond Dallas Page versus Stone Cold Steve Austin in a non-title match in the main event. Now let's look at Kurt Angle here. And Kurt. That suplex and Owen Rowan to the outside. Trying to get himself back together here as here he comes right back in. But he gets caught by Kurt overhead, belly to belly. Into the cover, hoping that's enough, only the one count though. And a shot to the lower back, Owen back up to his feet, catches him with a heel kick. And, oh, wait a minute, and Owen, and he just hit Brett in the head with a turnbuckle pad. <laughs> yeah, these guys ain't friends, and he threw him with the wrong one. And, oh, man, through his back. As the referee seems to have, no, no, I thought maybe the referee clocked it. I think he's clocked it now. The referee is fixing that turnbuckle pad over there. As in, oh, caught with a knee. As... And cut angle with a power bomb as Bret Hart's just put a chair in the ring. The referee didn't see the chair because he's completely blind. And oh, another shot on the ankle there. As cut angle grabbing the arm here, twisting and bending it up, but Owen into the midsection. As Owen Hart, oh, scoops cut angle up. On that surgically repaired neck. That pile driver, that set out tombstone almost like pile driver is. Wait a minute. And Brett, the referee seemed distracted there. What happened? Is. Oh, thumb of the eye. And oh! He already fixed the turnbuckle pad, I'm sure. And oh, Kurt scoops him up and down. I don't know what distracted the referee there, but something did. As, oh, caught with a jawbreaker. It's Owen! And what the hell? And a blatant disqualification. Owen Hart with a low blow. I think Bret Hart distracted the referee. I think Owen Hart went for a pin and Bret kind of got the ref's attention somehow. And Owen Hart, knowing that his own brother was trying to mess with him, just got himself disqualified. 
What the hell, man? Owen Hart just got himself DQ'd blatantly. I guess out of fear of losing there. As he's looking at his own brother, he doesn't trust him. I think Brett distracted the referee when he went for that because the turnbuckle pad had already been fixed. I don't know what happened in that corner. The camera didn't catch it. But I think Bret Hart got the referee's attention and Owen was not taking the risk. Owen Hart getting himself DQ'd and keeping the United States Championship. And well, these two are not in a good mood. Big Show and Rhino, they want answers themselves, man. They were attacked by the Dudley Boys and put through tables. The Dudley Boys and Big Show and Rhino are all part of the World Wrestling Federation. Why did the Dudley Boys put these guys through tables? No one knows because no one can find the Dudleys. They haven't shown up to Raw or Nitro this week. Big Show's not in a good mood. And he's about to get in the ring with Goldberg. Big Show and Rhino aren't in a good mood. Well, this is a big match anyway. Big Show and Goldberg are going to collide here. And well, I see Big Show ain't in a good mood. And well, Goldberg... <laughs> Him and Austin retained the Tag Team Championships. Goldberg, man. It's hard to believe Goldberg beat Austin at WrestleMania for the WCW Championship. He then lost it all of a few weeks later at the next WCW pay-per-view. Austin winning it back in a triple threat match where he pinned Triple H. And then Goldberg last night at Slambury failed to get it back, Austin this time getting the victory, but they, Austin and Goldberg did retain the WCW Tag Team Championships at the start of the show against Kai and Tai, the now defunct Kai and Tai. Well Goldberg ain't in a good mood either, he came to the show tonight to write the next chapter between him and Austin. And well. Goldberg, not in a good mood. When is he ever? Big Show, not in a good mood. Well, he's still one half of the tag team chance. He's still got gold round his waist. He can't complain. He's got gold. Alright, so here we go. And, oh, it looked like he went for a spear there, and he just got thrown by the Big Show. Good God. Goldberg went for a spear, and Big Show just tossed him. Big Show, I told you, Big Show's not in a good mood. The Dudley boys put them through tables last week, and they were not happy about it. It's, oh, he went for it again. Big Show is ready for everything tonight. It's, oh, Goldberg. Goldberg and Big Show in bad moods, but for different reasons. Goldberg doesn't want this match. He wants Austin. And Big Show, I think Big Show wants the Dudleys. And oh, everyone's most boring move. I'd be shocked if I didn't see a neck wrench from Goldberg. He's usually quite the fan of it. He's over the ropes down to the floor. Goldberg here and oh just snapped him on the floor. Three. Four. Four. Ah, oh man, these two are just going at it on the outside and well Goldberg into the ring. 
He doesn't care about getting Big Show. He's telling him, come on, get your ass up. Get in the ring. As Goldberg sends Show into the corner. Big shot in the corner. Well, Goldberg screaming into the hard cam there, but Big Show got up and took advantage. He's got him in the corner here with all these shots. And Big Show now with that boot right in the face of him. And the jaw, anyway. And oh, Goldberg. Oh, Goldberg sliding to the outside. No, nope. big show this time. Most boring move. Well, big show letting out an anger scream there. As big show with a side slam here. Big show is more than capable of putting Goldberg down right now. Just the rage that is inside him, wanting the Dudley boys. As in, oh, and there's the big show spear. I've seen him utilising that, teaming with Rhino. And only a one go. <laughs> Look, he's leaving Rhino's in shock. His eyes are wide open. And oh, and well, Big Show. What a win this would be, by the way. God damn, the showstopper. And Big Show into a cover on Goldberg here. Two and oh, the shoulder up again, man. And Show is in shock. Getting him up to his feet. Goldberg, though, man, with just brute strength there, fighting back. He's got him by the throat here. And oh, I thought maybe he was trying to choke slam him, but no, just tripping him down. I think that's too close for your spear there, boy. He's in his throat again here and again just trips him down. And Goldberg now kicked out of the choke slam, the showstopper. And this time he connects with a spear. Jumped into a cover here. I guess he's probably thinking twice here. Jackhammer on the big show. Only a two count though. Is he going to go for it? Oh, he's calling for it. He's calling for it. Goldberg is going to go. 500 pounds. Up in the air. Jackhammer. If he kicks out, it's ridiculous. <laughs> One, two. It's over. <laughs> Oh man, and Goldberg puts Big Show down. Well, an angry Big Show. An angry Goldberg. But Goldberg, man, kicking out of the spear at a one. Kicking out of the showstopper choke slam. But then the spear, Big Show got out of that. But that big jackhammer, and you can see Big Show, he's not happy. But that's nothing to do with the Goldberg loss. He wants answers from the Dudley boys. Well, this has been getting spoken about for the last few days. Kevin Nash was going to host a rock retirement party. Just need to imagine the ring is full of balloons. <laughs> it's full of balloons and cake and all that crap. Kevin Nash is going to have a retirement party for The Rock. If The Rock loses to Kevin Nash at Judgment Day, it is simple. Well, the Rock doesn't need to retire, but he has to leave. It's a leaving party, not a retirement party. There we go. It's a, a leaving party for The Rock. He's not allowed to come back until this WCW WWF war is over. Well, I'd like to welcome everybody to The Rock's leaving do. His little leaving party as he will be leaving us all 
very, very shortly. A week on Sunday, to be exact, when I beat the people's champion once again. Now, I always heard how The Rock was this big star and he was going to Hollywood and he was going to be this and be that. But then, then I face him again and again and again and I beat him again and again and again. But anyway, Rock, this isn't about the old matches or even the next one, which we all know the outcome of. This, this is your leaving party, Rock. You can enjoy this tonight. Then next week, you can sit and relax and get ready for that defeat you will face at Judgment Day. And well, uh... <laughs> I don't think The Rock's finding this one too funny. And here comes the people's champion. And well, The Rock. And well, he's... Uh, he's... Well, he was smiling and his face just drew blank and, well, the rock. Hmm. Well, the rock getting the people on their feet. Whoa, 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 big sexy. A leaving party for The Rock. Well, I have to thank you so much. But I'm going nowhere. Oh, Rock, Rock. You can come out here. We all know what comes next. If yes, some la 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 la. We've all heard it before, Rock. You can't beat me, Rock. It's plain and simple. You know you can't. Let's get it straight, you big idiot. The Rock was willing to agree to your terms because The Rock knows for a fact he's putting that wig down on the canvas and pinning him one, two, three a week on Sunday at Judgment Day. Look, Rock, look. I get it. It's tough when you think you're a big star, but then an even bigger star stands before you. You see, you went away to Hollywood to make a movie. You came back and it's just not the same. It's called Ring Rust Rock. I get it. Ring Rust. No, 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 no. See, Kev, I see what you're doing. Try to get the mind games. People have been trying to get in The Rock's head for years. The Rock doesn't fall for that. So you're right, Kev. I ain't about the jokes anymore. I ain't caring about making no jokes. You already are a joke, Rock. And it all comes to an end. The punchline of that joke at Judgment Day. You see, getting rid of you takes a top soldier away from Vince McMahon and the WWF. I'm going to single-handedly win this war. Or as you seem to think, you take out The Rock, you take out the WWF. Or you seem to forget watching Stone Cold Steve Austin whip Goldberg's ass last night. Or did you miss watching The Undertaker and Kane whooping Sting's ass earlier tonight. Believe me, you take me out there is more than enough standing there to fight. Oh, Rock, Rock. You'll get it. You're the charismatic one. It's all about the mind games. If I get rid of you, it's like the, 
the head of the snake. You see, yeah, there's a couple of heads on that snake. Guys like you, Austin, Undertaker. But at the end of it all, oh, well, well shut up. Listen, Kev, Judgment Day. You win, you get what you want. But The Rock ain't going down easy. There'll be no quick ending to this one. You are in for the fight of your life. They call you Five Star Nash. Yeah? Well, I'm the people's champion. And all oh, The Rock jumps under. Rock bomb to Kevin Nash. And The Rock just dropped Kevin Nash. Just like that. But can he do it when it matters? And can he keep him down for that three count? The Rock, the people's champion. Sending a message to Kevin Nash there. A rock bottom to Big Sexy. And well, can The Rock do it when it matters? Judgment Day, a week on Sunday. If The Rock loses, he has to leave professional wrestling until this war is over. He doesn't have to retire, but he has to go. And he's not allowed to come back until this WCW versus WWF is all said and done. Can The Rock get it done? And will he be around for the rest of this war? Well, main event time. Diamond Dallas Page gets that opportunity he so badly wants. Oh, you've got it. I'm not going to lie, but even I thought it was going to be... I thought Diamond Dallas Page and Canyon were going to explode on each other. I thought they were about to go into battle with each other, but no. Last night, Canyon just said to him, if you really want to turn your back and walk away, then just turn. And Diamond Dallas Page turned and walked away. A friendship over in front of an audience just like that. Canyon no main eventing over on Raw right now. Is Canyon getting action against Shango? If you haven't seen Raw yet, please be sure to check it out. Well, here comes the WCW champion, one half of the WCW tag team champions. And Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, Triple H, who everyone was sure wants to be champion himself, but seems quite happy to step aside and he's given Diamond Dallas Page as his new running buddy. <laughs> Giving him the opportunity. Diamond Dallas Page said he wants to be a champion. Well, this is the chance. This is your opportunity. He's got to show that he can take it. He's good about he couldn't do it when he faced the rock at WrestleMania. Can he do it against Austin? As Austin. And Austin, oh, takes him down. And look at Paige. You're in the ring with a rattlesnake, boy. You better step up your game. As Austin. He's got that arm. Look at Paige, though. Trying to match the old ringmaster. And takes him down. And look at Austin now, realising... What just came his way is into the tie-up, but Page quickly takes him into the corner. Very technical at the start here, as he split it up here. It is a clean break. But, oh, Austin goes low. Don't trust the rattlesnake. And, oh, went for another kick there. Might have been thinking stunner as Page, though. And, oh, and Austin, with the eyes, oh, God, went for the midsection again. Austin taken down as Page tried to turn him over, but he's right in the ropes. Going to have to let go. That single leg. But he had the leg there, so he's going to use it. And 
Back with a chop there, quick man. Look at these snap jabs. Diamond Dallas Page with some speed. Oh, think right over there. Austin though, round drops him down. A downward spiral almost there. Into the corner, big splash there by Diamond Dallas Page. Shades of the stinger splash. As Austin though, right back up, catches him. And a gut wrench. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And well, there's Triple H, the husband and business partner of the owner, Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. And Triple H coming out here. And oh, wait a minute, Page rolls up Austin. Austin, though, out of it straight away. And Triple H coming out here. It's Diamond Dallas Page. Seems to have become good buddies with Triple H now. Always been well known that Scott Hall and Page were, were good buddies, obviously, in real life. And Page just blasted through him there. As Page and Austin right back on him now. Austin Stone Cold Stunner, oh, jeez man! Oh God, here he goes again! And look at Triple H screaming here, and Austin, oh, he done the double. Stone Cold Stunners to Diamond Dallas Page. Jeez, man. Justin. Oh, Page blasted that shoulder up. Look at Austin. He thought he thought it was over, man. Page just kicked out of two stunners. We know Austin doesn't really waste much time anymore, does he? He really gets those stunners nice and quickly, and he doesn't half use them. As in all, Austin pushes Page off, who must be a little stunned right now. It's Triple H has just put a chair on the apron. I know he's going to stomp a mud hole on him. A little bit of trash talk. Oh, Austin. He went for another kick there. That might have been. It's all wait a minute. And but Page, I don't think he knows. And no, oh, drops the bob. He's got his, his shoulders down, but Triple H had the referee. And well, Page going up top row, referee got rid of the chair. Triple H was doing that so Page could use the steel chair, but Page went for that spin out bomb instead. As Page now top rope here, and a big axe handle as well. Page and Diamond Dallas Page here is stalking out. And then Diamond Carty Austin and Diamond Dallas Page could be about to make himself the number one contender. Two. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he was so close. So close. Oh, he's stalking him again. Diamond Carty, where the hell did he get two from? Another cover. Two. Oh, ho, ho. Fuck, I honestly had no way I thought that was done. And Paige, for the love of God, wondering what does it take to put a rattlesnake down? As Austin just tripped the leg there. And Austin, and Austin's now fired up. He is fired up here as Paige goes for a swing. Austin, though, takes him down again. And oh, oh, Paige, small package, small package. One. Two! Only a two. It's Austin with the right hand. Oh, the press! Laying in with the right hands. And he's stalking, he's stalking. This would be number three. Stone Cold Stunner! 
Leg hooked. One, two, three. Austin isn't half giving us some quick matches, man, that are just a bit crazy. <laughs> well, Austin just went stunner, stunner, but Paige got his shoulder up. Then Austin kicked out of two diamond cutters. He had the shoulders down here after that spin-out bomb, but Triple H had the referee. He wanted Paige to use the chair, but he didn't go for the chair. He didn't know Triple H was on the apron. He landed that diamond cutter, and then another Austin kicked out of both. Page kicked out of two stunners, ah man, right after two, but the third one done the job. He almost caught him with a small package, he could have became number one contender tonight. But Stone Cold Steve Austin retain, retains, he wasn't defending it. Stone Cold Steve Austin has made sure Page will not be the number one contender. Well, Page, that was your opportunity. That was a cutting opportunity for Diamond Dallas Page but he didn't get it done and Stone Cold Steve Austin is Triple H looking at Austin staring a hole through him but Stone Cold Steve Austin is standing tall at the end of tonight just like he did last night I thought Page had it on that second Diamond Cutter I really really did but Diamond Dallas Page will not be challenging Austin for the World Wrestling Federation championship ladies and gentlemen like share and subscribe be sure to follow on twitter if you want to see the matches that are coming on the shows before it airs and please be sure to follow on twitch whenever these videos go up every night around about 10 o'clock they kind of start uk time gives the american audience a chance to get home and get settled to watch it um, i'm always doing twitch stuff or at least i'm trying to so please be sure to check it out always do a premiere i'll put a wee link in the side Please be sure to check it out, every little helps, and you can watch me rage out on Call of Duty. Actually, I'm playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 right now, the original Battlefront 2, the good one, not that EA crap. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, follow Twitch and Twitter, and I'll see you in the next episode.